What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys watched that last game. That was absolute insanity with the Savannah State Tigers at the Morgan State Bears. We saw our first ever 100-point ball game. And that was that was just such an easy win. That was insane. Let's check it out. 108 to 14 was the final. <laughs> we will never see 100 points again. But I'm not going to waste any time right now. I just want to get into this game, so let's get it. I'm ready for it. And we're going to go with the gray pants today. Let's go. This should be a pretty close game, though. UTEP, a top 10 team, just a very solid squad. Seven and one on the season, five and one in their conference. Bryant, seven and two on the year, five and two in the ACC. They lost to Savannah State and William and Mary. And that was a nice kick. UTEP going to start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Wyatt Geddes in the chat. Bryson Shields, what's going on, fellas? I don't know if you guys watched that last game, but boy, oh boy, did you miss an insane game. Savannah State scored over 100 points. Oh, they're going with the halfback off tackle? Okay. This game is going to be insane as well, but in a different way. I think this is going to be really close. Hard fought game all the way to the end of the ball game. Hope you guys are enjoying your New Year's Eve. This is what I'm doing on New Year's Eve. I don't care about anything else. And I thought that was going to be play action. Great run from Adams. He might be gone. Tadian Moss just barely pushes him out at the 42 yard line. And he's got over 30 yards already. Wyatt, why why are you rooting against me, my guy? You're so hurtful to me. Don't make me make UC Davis lose. I'll do it. I'll do it, man. Let's go, Stadium. Get into it. Oh, that's another nice run by Adams. And he's inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line. Bryant's defense looking a little suspect here already. Goodness. Nice tackle. I thought he was going to juke to the outside and score. <coughs> Excuse me. He almost had several upsets this week, man. Cal Poly almost got upset by Sacramento State. Dayton almost got upset by Northern Iowa. A lot of really close games. A lot of blowouts, too. There's really, like, no in-between, really. And that's also to the end zone. And Everson has the touchdown. Not how we wanted to start the game. 80-yard touchdown drive by the Biners. And uh, I believe it was, yeah, that was Stefan Okafor out in coverage. He, he's not known for his pass coverage. We'll let that slide. <coughs> oh my goodness. He's more of a blitzing linebacker. Bryant Bulldogs, 14-0 last season. National champions. 
defeat the Fresno State Bulldogs in the Rose Bowl, I believe. If I am not mistaken. I really need a stat guy. I need somebody to keep track of all the stats. Put it on the website. That is a nice kick. My goodness. Looks like both drives to start the game are going to go at the 20-yard line. Brandon Allen has his work cut out for him right now after a 10-touchdown performance by MJ Gator Jr. And Allen starts it off with a 7-yard run up the gut. off to the non-subscriber fullback got caught on my own lineman the play went nowhere I'm gonna keep pounding that rock though Bulldogs dead last in third down conversions this season that is atrocious I had no idea we got this one though and Allen up to the 35 yard line we're well, gonna try to feed the ball to him all game long I do not really have a lot of faith in Noel Montanez's uh, arm this season. Very inaccurate. And nice blocking. Allen jukes a man out. Allen up to the 49-yard line. Almost broke that one. I am going to try to pass it just a little bit here. But we're only going to do short passes. And nice deflection. Snoopy Tucker, the intended target. Let's go, Allen. And that's a first down run. And picks up about 13 yards. He's got over 40 yards already here on the first drive. Just keep feeding the beast. I am going to sub him out for this play, though. We'll put in A.J. Jordan. This guy is like a bowling ball. He just bounces around for the defense like they're a bunch of bowling pins. Right up the gut. And A.J. Jordan, can he win the foot race? No, he can't. Down to the two-yard line. Huge run. Thought for sure I had the touchdown right there. Great play by the safety to save the touchdown. gonna get into the end zone I didn't think he got it at all but they called him in and we're about to tie this ball game up a couple nice drives to start the game so far <coughs> my goodness excuse me if I'm not sneezing I'm coughing if I'm not coughing I'm sneezing I just can't win Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you, each and every one of you. Anderson on the return up the left side, and I can't bring him down. Uh-oh. I don't care about the face mask. Oh, it's actually a clipping. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. I thought for sure that was a face mask penalty. The GOAT, Cy Summers, about to blitz right now. Let's get this quarterback. Nope, nice block by the halfback. And Brown picks up about six yards. Six 
This is our final video for the year of 2019. And a perfect way, we're closing out week number 11 of the FCS Dynasty. And we get to the quarterback, Ruben Blueberry hits him, incomplete pass. Get this stop. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Uh-oh. And they're going to get the first down. Look at those running backs numbers right now. We cannot stop them. <coughs> Let me get him. No. Oh, size summers are not fast enough. Let's go. The referee got in his way. <laughs> okay. Twelfth man out there. Adams already at over a hundred rushing yards for the miners. Man, we got saved right here by the referee. This is looking real rough right now. I don't know what I don't know what to run. So many rushing yards already in the game. 200 total. And that time, Stefan Okafor gets him with the hit stick. His third tackle today. Leveled him. I think we might have to go with zone coverage here today. If they're going to keep running the football like that. Fourth ranked defense in the nation. Having a hard time already. Struggling in the first quarter to defend the run. Deep shot to the end zone. Deflected away. Tatum could have had the pick. No, definitely no blowout this time. Not a chance. And I missed the pick. Now, I fully expected this game to be really close. And it's already living up to the hype. They're going for it on fourth down and 12. I'm pretty sure their kicker has a strong leg. I don't know why they're not kicking the 47-yard field goal right now. Uh-oh. That sucks. He didn't even try. <laughs> Zero attempts at the deflection and they get a touchdown on 4th and 12 30 yard bomb how do you just not even try to make a play on that and like that the miners take the lead back here in uh, Smithfield Rhode Island Oh, man, all three touchdown drives have been 80 yards or more. And we're going to let that one bounce in the end zone again. See, their kicker has a great leg. This, I, don't, <laughs> I would have rather than went for the field goal on that drive. That would have been great. I think they would have made it for sure. Let's go, AJ. Let's go. Great block. Good block. Okay. And a first down for AJ Jordan. 60 yards up the gut so far for the Bulldogs. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> nice catch by Martinez. Goodness. Threw that off my back foot. I didn't think they had a chance to get to the receiver at all. Allen to the outside. Look out, Brandon Allen. But this defense is super fast. And they close the gap rather quickly.
Fullback's wide open, and we overthrow him. Yo, what up, brother? Try and keep it close. I, I don't think we'll have any problem in this game keeping it close. UTEP is a very good squad. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. Oh, nice tackle. See the closing speed these guys have? It's insane. And that's going to be the final play of the first quarter. UTEP on top, 14-7. to seven. Number 8 Miners over the number 11 Bryant Bulldogs. This game's got me on the edge of my seat right now. Last Life Gaming Network. What's going on, man? Shout out in the chat. And throwing it up, and that was dangerous. Should have been a pick. Should have been a pick. <coughs> we do not have a kicker for that. I cannot make that field goal. Not a chance. All right. Oh, man. Immediate pressures. Toss it up to the tight end. And we can't get it. So they get a big stop. That is unfortunate. <coughs> My goodness. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Not a chance, buddy. Nice tackle. Let's go. That's you, Frank. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Your post-high school days? <laughs> this game came out when, uh, let's see. I was 14, so this is my high school days. <laughs> this is your post-high school and my high school days. I love it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite games. My favorite college football game is... NCAA football 2004. I played thousands of games on that one. And most of them were with the Miami Hurricanes. I did a full 30-year dynasty with Miami. I did a 30-year dynasty with LSU on that game. And I believe I had another 30-year dynasty. I can't remember what squad I used, though. It was a Pac-10 team. Might have been Oregon, actually. Right now, we are struggling with UTEP, and I may cry if we lose. I may cry. Got to get some pressure on this quarterback. I'm trying to stop this running back. He's so good. Get him. Get him. No. Okay, he dropped it. Oh, man. You were a junior in 04? I know, you old son of a gun. Almost swore on my channel for the first time. <laughs> Come on, let me get this quarterback right quick. Come on now. Oh! Oh, sit down, son! Cy Summers! Coming through, laying the lumbar. Go, baby. Getting a big hit with Cy Summers is like getting a big hit with Ray Lewis in Madden 2005. It is so easy. It's just such a fluid motion. It's crazy. Come on, let me get this quarterback. Incomplete. Let's go. Yo, Frank, we about to get you that f your first rig, buddy. We're getting it this season. Let's go. Let's go Storm. And UTEP kicks it through. It's a two-score ball game now. <coughs> I have zero drinks right now in my office, so I'm just going to keep choking to death. Whatever. It's all good. Let's go, LJ. Oh, man, if you were not six foot six. 
and White, you might have scored our merit. That's tough. Let's go to option. Let's get it. See if they're doing man coverage here. Nope, zone coverage. Could be all right. Let's go Montanez. Nice play, nice play. Pitches it out, and Allen's got the first down. No face mask right there. It should have been. But we move the chains regardless. <laughs> Going deep. Maybe. Nope. Oh, man. Immediate pressure. Montanez. And I'm just going to run out of bounds so he doesn't get destroyed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's try to hit my mans on a post right here. Snoopy Tucker. Sophomore receiver. Very fast. Oh, my goodness. Did you guys see how fast the pressure got in there? <laughs> I almost died right there. I think if we're going to win this ball game, we're going to have to try to throw it a little bit. Oh, nice play. You got to be better this year? I mean, we all got to be better, man. We didn't get that ring. <laughs> it wasn't just one player. <coughs> Goodness gracious. <clears throat> but I like our, our rookie draft class that we got oh man throw it away throw it away he wouldn't throw it you saw me throw it you saw me try oh man everybody saw his arm go forward come on now this is unfortunate I have no idea what to do here and they're getting pressure again. Can we get the pass? Oh, it's picked off. Uh-oh. Get him, Montanez. Nope. Snoopy Tucker can't get him either. Can Brandon Allen? That's a pick six. Oh, man. That's rough. Man, just like that, it is a three-score ball game. Oh. Tucker had a few steps that was just underthrown and went the other way. Montanez looking like Jameis Winston out here. Not even going to bother with that return. Not a chance. Oh man, this could be this could be a loss here, folks. Oh, Brandon Allen up the gut, twenty-plus yard run. I'll take that. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, that was bad. Got stuck on my own lineman. Went backwards. Oh, this is this is a rough game, folks. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, nice pitch. Montanez got rocked out of his mind. Well, Brandon Allen up over 100 yards rushing now in the game. And it is now third down and two. <coughs> we got to get some points before this half is over. We do get the ball to start the third quarter, though. So I'm pretty hyped about that.
Yeah, Wyatt, UTEP is solid, man. They are really good. Oh, we got LJ Topher. Deep downfield, one-on-one, -on -one, and that should have been pass interference. My controller was vibrating something fierce right there. Feels bad. Martinez, like, 45% on the season for percentage. Oh, my goodness. And there was holding. Oh, woof. <coughs> this is a poop show. It's a poop show right now. Second down and 20. Jeez. Pray for me. All right, let's go get Lester over here to the right side. A little speed option. Oh, man. Can we get a face mask, please? Thank you. First down, let's go. I'll take it. We desperately needed that one. The head coach don't like that call. Oh, well. Hail Mary, full of grace. That would be thy name. Run, Noel. Run. <laughs> he gets eight yards out of it, or nine. I'll take that. Quarterback is exhausted now. I just need the offensive line to block just a little bit better on these pass plays. Get it, Snoopy. Let's go. First down. Montanez got destroyed again. We're winning the first down battle. And we do not have a backup quarterback formation sub right there. Okay. Whatever. Martinez. Deep in the end zone, and touchdown with a three-star freshman tight end. Let's go, baby. Diego Martinez with a clutch touchdown catch. I think Martinez got destroyed again. That was a huge touchdown. But we, we may have left a little bit too much time on the clock for them. Twenty-four, fourteen. That was a seventy-eight-yard touchdown drive. Took over two minutes off the clock, and I hope they do not have enough time here to get down the field and get some more points on the board. Oh, Cy Summers just got lit up. Nice tackle, though. Pretty even in yards, but Bryant has run ten more plays on offense so far. Need some defense, some better defensive play. And they're gonna run the counter here. And nice tackle. I'm gonna call my timeouts here. Maybe if we could stop them, get a nice little punt return, maybe get a field goal before the half, that would be huge. Cy Summers, another nice tackle. Big third down and six upcoming right here. Oh, I hit the quarterback. Get it, Tadian. Oh, deflected. Let's go. And we save a timeout with that. I love it. Let's go. <clears throat> Plenty of time to possibly get down there and kick a field goal. Or who knows, maybe we'll get a big touchdown play. I would be okay with, with any kind of points for us. LJ Topher on for the part return. And no blocking. Topher down at the 24 yard line with 10 seconds left. All right. Let's 
Send a couple guys on some streaks. See what happens. Snoopy Tucker, maybe, deep downfield. Oh, boy. Okay. We're just going to let that go to half before we end up turning it over and they score again. I don't know what happened. I had two blockers right there and only one defender chasing me, and they still got me. But it's 24-14 at the half. Bulldogs get the ball to start the third. Let's go, Brandon Allen. Let's go, baby. Heisman front runner right here. And a nice return. Great blocking. Allen up to the 34-yard line. Great start to the third quarter. He used to coach youth football with a guy who went to Bryant. That's pretty cool. We have a player on Savannah State that actually played football for Savannah State, Rashad Allen. And I played semi-pro football with uh, Noble Champion, who was a wide receiver for the Villanova Wildcats during Brian Westbrook's senior season, the running back that used to play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, what a spin move. Allen still going. Look out. No way he just did that. Brandon Allen to the house. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Game-changing play right there. That was outrageous right there. Oh, my goodness. How? Look at all those miners. Look at all of them. That was unbelievable. Let's go ahead and try to get a thumbnail out of that. Goodness gracious. Like how? How? How is that possible? There's the thumbnail. Everybody behind him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are the, the stick skills, baby. Stick skills. Let's go. See, when you played the game as much as I played this, you know, you can, you can get as good as that. I'm just saying. Again, I just want to reiterate, this is on Heisman difficulty. You want in? Okay, Frank. Uh, you got to join our Discord community, buddy. There is a link in the description of this video. We have, there's several other uh, SFL players in there. We've got Jason, or not Jason Williams, Josh Williams, uh, Tom Schaefer used to be in the SFL, uh, who else we got, I don't know, it's 11.30 at night and I'm drawing a blank right now, I'm sure there's many, <laughs> we got at least, like between 5 and 10, there's over 100 community members, so I, I kind of lose track of them sometimes. Oh, okay. Out of bounds. Yeah, you join our Discord community. And in the offseason, which we're nearly there, just four more regular season weeks left. And then conference championship week. And then bowl season. Um, but in the offseason, after I'm done with all the recruiting. Oh, give me that. Give me the user. Let's go, Cy Summers. You're the GOAT. I love you. In the offseason. <laughs> As I try not to lose my train of thought here, um, after I do all of the recruiting, you can select a recruit to customize. The only thing you can't customize is the hometown, I believe, and uh, all the ratings. We can't do the ratings, so. But I used to let you know just subscribers to the channel do it, but from now on, in the off seasons. You have to join the Discord to be able to make a player. So I'm trying to grow the Discord community as much as I can. Okay, Montanez with the cutback. Six-yard carry. Let's go. Let's go. I'm also going to be bringing a professional league too. So the Elite Football League, if you haven't checked out the video for that yet, is the main video on my channel. That's the professional league that all of these subscriber players will be playing in. Once they get drafted, here's Brandon Allen, the Heisman frontrunner with a big carry inside the 20. 
And he's got 194 rushing yards here today. One-on-one -on -one after contact. Oh, boy. Dude is a stud. He finished second in the Heisman voting last season behind MJ Gator Jr., halfback for the Savannah State Vikings. Yeah, the Savannah State Vikings. Oh, my goodness. Savannah State Tigers, if I can learn how to speak English here. And MJ actually just had 10 touchdowns in the game before this one against the Morgan State Bears. And we just took the lead. Let's go, Brandon Allen. Having a Heisman performance of his own, trying to match the previous game's <laughs> MJ Gator Jr. 10 touchdown totals. It's going to be tough to match that, but he's trying his hardest. MJ scored every way possible. He had a, his first career punt return for a touchdown, first career kick return for a touchdown, two receiving touchdowns, and six touchdowns on the ground. Savannah State scored 108 points. That is our first ever triple-digit game on the channel, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last. I just don't see it happening again. Everything was clicking in that game. Come on, let me hit him. Let me hit him. And clipping, all right. We have stormed back in this game and have scored three straight touchdowns to take the lead. And if we do end up winning this ball game, it is because of that insane Brandon Allen touchdown run. Oh, man, I'm not fast enough for Summers to catch the halfback like that. Come on now. Has to cover the middle. Cy Summers is great in run protection. Uh, pass. Let's go! He's great in pass coverage. Let's go, baby! Two picks for Cy Summers. Who is most likely going to be a top five draft pick for the Elite Football League in Madden 2006. That'll be starting up with year three of this dynasty. We're in year two currently. Almost at the end. Go, Allen. And we got stuff that time. That's all good. 215 yards for him. Andrew Adams has 119. Both running backs just balling out right now for their teams. I want to throw it. I'm afraid, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. And we're going to go up top. Diego Martinez, the freshman tight end, and he can't get there. That would have been his second touchdown today. And there's a look at Montanez's numbers, struggling with accuracy. And that's been the story for him all season long. And that has resulted in two losses for the Bulldogs this season. Third down and seven. I'm going to run it. I got faith in Brandon Allen. And he's got the edge. Can he get to the corner? And he's down out of bounds at the five-yard line. What a run. What a game he is having. Might get him to 300 yards here today. Allen breaks the tackle, runs over the lineman, and he is in for the touchdown again. I lost count. I don't know how many he's got now. Does he have four? I think he's got four this game. Up to seven viewers in the stream. That's the most we've had on this one. We got up to ten on the Savannah State game. Where we dropped over 100 points. UTEP reeling a little bit. They've allowed 24 straight points. Or not 24. Excuse me, 28. Oh, I missed the tackle. Uh oh. Missed another one. Anderson up to the 32 yard line. Yeah, 28 straight points for the Bryant Bulldogs. A 
I'm blitzing. Let's get it. Oh, quick pass. Incomplete for the Miners. Cy Summers with two picks here today. He's definitely going to be a top five pick. I can't wait for it. Nice tackle by Ruben Blueberry, the subscriber defensive end. As you look at Brandon Allen's career numbers, um, over 2,100 rushing yards. Or was that this season? That was this season, wasn't it? Yes, it was. My goodness. You see 2,000 yards and you just think it's one once or uh, a full career. But no, it's just this season. That's insane. I don't know if we'll ever break the rushing yards in a season record or rushing. I think we broke the rushing touchdown record. Oh, we were close. Last season. And that pass goes nowhere. Seven hurries. We have yet to get the sack on the quarterback. I don't know what it is. Just can't get to him. Is that the school fight song, Matt Blue? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I missed. We still get a nice tackle, though, and we stop him on third down. Or on second down, actually. Wow, I don't even know what's going on right now. I thought it was third down. I've played so many games of football. We just all blurs together. Let me get him. Oh, he missed. He did not get the first down. And they're going to punt it? My goodness. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. I'm going to do safe return because I, I just don't trust anybody. And that is going to go in the end zone. Maybe. Wow, they let it bounce into the end zone. All they had to do was swat it. What are they doing? Just going to try to run this clock out. As Brandon Allen picks up a first down. I don't really have a whole lot of faith in the defense, even though they've been stopping UTEP for the past two quarters. It's just the way that they were running the football with such ease. But we started to come back, and that forced them to try to throw the football a little bit. And I think that's really what has hurt them in this ball game. Here's A.J. Jordan on the carry. And he's getting close to the sticks as well. Second down in inches. He's up to 356 yards rushing on the season. He had over 1,000 last year as the number two guy behind Brandon Allen. Shout out to Regear Productions in the chat. I don't know if you uh, were able to see the Savannah State score, buddy, but just go, go check that game out. Highly recommend it. Lots of highlights. A lot of records <laughs> were broken in that game that will never be topped again. This could be really good. Triple option, or power option, excuse me, to the left. Nope. Tight end got blown up. Actually, it might be good. Can we get the stiff arm? No, we can't. But a seven or eight yard carry for Allen. He's up to 260 yards today. I bet you we can get A.J. Jordan up to 100 yards. He only needs 40. There we go. Big run. Big run. And he almost broke that all the way. Got a little bit of a block down here by the ref. Right there on the safety. Sprung him free for an extra uh, maybe five yards. And that's going to be the final play of the third quarter, folks. I'm going to let this run out real quick.
Get your fours up in the chat, folks. It's still a pretty close game. 11-point ball game. Bryant looking for the upset right now. Southern Utah should definitely jump up into the top ten after a Bryant win here tonight. If it does happen. And nice tackle right there. Let me go ahead and take a look at the top 25 real quick while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Southern Utah 15th heading into this week with a UTEP loss and Tennessee State. I don't see Tennessee State going underneath Southern Utah. Well, we'll see. Well, they should definitely move up. Maybe top 12 at least. Shout out to Cameron Burnett in the chat. First time I've seen that name. And Allen is stopped at the 20 yard line. Very good tackle. And we're going to go ahead and kick a field goal here. Try and make it a two touchdown ball game. Cameron, hope to see you in the Discord community, buddy. And I think I got that kick. Yes, I did. We're up to 14-point lead now. Yeah, I expect uh, Tennessee State to stay around the top five. At, at least the top eight. I mean, they did get blown up by Jacksonville. But who knows? The rankings just do whatever they want most of the time. Frank, good to see you back, buddy. You missed a little bit of the game. <laughs> Defense has stepped up, and the ground game has been popping off. Can I get this tackle right here? Nice play. Let's go. Uh-oh. Got an injury on the play. That's Joe Owens, the non-subscriber defensive end, who has been an absolute monster this season. He's got, like, 15 sacks on the year. It's more than any of our subscriber players. Let's get this crowd hype. Let's go. And they try a screen pass left side, and Brown goes nowhere on the play. Got to bring up third down to 13. I don't know why UTEP, like, abandoned the run, because their running back was just tearing us apart. Joe Owens out for the game, dislocated shoulder. So kind of good news that he's not seriously injured. But bad news that he's not going to be coming back today. And that's a touchdown. We don't have the speed to catch him on this defense. Touchdown, Miners. They close the gap back to one score. What a play. What an answer. Right as I was trashing their pass offense. <laughs> that's usually how it works. Yeah, the Bryant Bulldogs do not have... Any elite speed on the defense. So there's no way we we're going to catch him on that. I think Tadian Moss, the left corner over there, has maybe 85 or 88 speed, something like that. That would be crazy if Jacksonville was able to jump to number 13 after that. That'd be awesome. It's going to be a really wild finish to the season with four weeks left in the regular season. Let's see, week 12 is next. We have 10 games in week 12. All 12 of our schools play, so we'll have two uh, subscriber versus subscriber matchups in week 12. Oh, great play. Don't let me choke this lead right now. Come on. I'm going to go with the power option. They've been blowing up the left tackle, though. So this, this could be rough. 
Left tackle is Kenneth Harrington. All-American left tackle last season as, as a true freshman. Okay, there we go. Great blocking downfield. Let's go. Good pitch. First down. Keep the clock moving, baby. 339 yards on the ground today for the Bulldogs. And I kind of want to throw it here. So I'm going to. Let's do it. Play action boot, baby. Not a whole lot of passing yards here today for either team. Big dog, big dog. Cut. 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 All right, chucking it up deep. And LJ Topher has it. User catch, baby. Let's go. You just looking for a top two finish? Yeah, that would be nice. Especially after Southern Utah went six and seven last season. Our only school that had a losing record in year one. San Diego, 2-7 this year. Still got a shot at tying the uh, <laughs> the record, or the, the worst record, that is, for a season. And broke the tackle from Allen. Just about a one-yard carry. And he's getting tired. Let's go ahead and give the ball off to A.J. Jordan. Switch this to the left side. AJ Jordan got the first down. And nice juke. Breaking a tackle. And gets it up to about the 16-yard line. He's closing it on 100 yards for the ball game, I believe. He's very close if he doesn't have it already. I don't think he's going to get it this drive, though. He's tired, too. Running back's been putting in work today. Oh, another broken tackle. Brandon Allen inside the 10-yard line. He's such a beast. 10 broken tackles today. Get off me, son. Six plays, 73-yard drive. Over two minutes off the clock. UTEP finally called the timeout. And Noel Montanez is going to pitch it out, and A.J. Jordan, oh, how is that not a touchdown? Oh, it was so close. At least we forced them to call a timeout, though. Kind of want to kneel it down right here. A couple times just to get that clock moving. The Tennessee State lose. Go back and watch the Jacksonville Dolphins-Tennessee State game, my friend. Florida a and beat Iowa State in basketball. That is insane. That's a huge win for the HBCU. All right, let's get this clock moving. They haven't called their timeout yet. I think I snapped that ball way too early. I, I assume that they called their timeout. That's rough. Feels bad. Brandon Allen, player of the game for Bryant. 288 yards, four touchdowns. Balling out. 1.7% chance to win. That's insane. That's a crazy win. And Brandon Allen does not get in the end zone. UTEP calls their final timeout. And we're going to kick that field goal, get a two-score two lead here. If we can make this, that'd be phenomenal. 20-yard field goal attempt, kick is up and good. And it looks like we're going to walk out of here with a dub, but anything can happen. They lost 106 straight games against major conference opponents. Oh boy. What happened to Iowa State?
I thought they used I thought they were good at basketball. Like aren't they usually in the top 45? I feel like they are. And that pass goes for nothing. What you gonna do, sucker? Nothing. That ain't gonna win you the game. Their best player was hurt, so that makes their team trash instantly. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Double coverage. Can we get it? Nice deflection. Fourth down and two for the Miners. I want to thank you guys all for stopping by the stream. And the streams if you stop by the first one. And I destroy the quarterback there. We take over on downs. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by the stream tonight. One or two of them, whichever. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. We are on our way to a thousand, baby. And Brandon Allen, nice tackle right there. That's gonna be the final play of the ball game. Bryant walks out of here with a come from behind win. 41-31 against the eighth ranked UTEP Miners. Big victory for them. UTEP gonna drop out of the top 10 now, most likely. Our next video in this series will be our taking a look at the nation video. And we will see who moves up in the top 25 and who moves down. We'll also take a look at the award watch lists, conference standings, players of the week, all that jazz. Almost 400 yards on the ground today for the Bulldogs. They can pound that rock. One pick today for Montanez. Look at the total yards. Very even. But UTEP was picked off twice by Cy Summers. And that was the big, big difference. Because we were in scoring position each time, I believe. And scored touchdowns on each drive. 21 points in the third quarter. And we were able to come back and take a big lead. We were up by 11 and up by 14 at one point before they kicked a field goal. Then we kicked one, or they scored a touchdown, and then we kicked a field goal to win it by 10 points. Montanez, not very good today. 41%. He's been doing that all season long. And we almost got Jordan to 100 yards. 97 today. 10 yard average for Brandon Allen. Four touchdowns. 11 broken tackles. No fumbles for anybody. Diego Martinez had a touchdown reception for the three-star freshman tight end. And Kenneth Harrington, sophomore All-American, allowed a sack today. Cy si Summers, I had three tackles with him, two picks. Wasn't really too busy in, you know, tackling, but two interceptions were clutch. Four tackles for a loss for the defense. No sacks. We could not... Hit that quarterback to save our lives. Five pass deflections. No force fumbles. Coleman was two of two today for kicking. No punts. Nothing crazy on returns. And that is going to be it for week 11, folks. And a happy new year from the Klein family to all of you out there. Again, I appreciate all you guys. Shout out to Noah in the chat. Finally showing up to a stream. You missed the game earlier, buddy. Savannah State was rolling. But that is it for this stream, folks. I will see you tomorrow night with our Making Knights Arena Football Road to Glory franchise. Until then, take it easy, guys. And a happy new year.